Hello everyone, my name is Ayo Trooper and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install 666 callouts into your guys' LSPDFR. This is currently number one trending on lcpdfr.com and it's been a while since something interesting has been trending on this website. So I thought I'd hop in here and show you guys how to install it into your guys' LSPDFR. This is a really, really good callout pack as usual. Pretty much all my videos I do callout packs on, they're always good. It has, as it says right here, 12 callouts providing immersive variation which is very, very true. And obviously if you guys get any bugs and stuff like that, always come here to report them. I can guarantee you they will fix them in the future. Obviously, since this was updated very, very recently, as you guys can see here. But to download it, what you guys want to do is hit download this file, agree and download. And then from here, you can click here to speed the download up a little bit. It should be done pretty much instantly. Open the download on up, and you should be able to see within your 686 callouts is your default plugins folder and then inside that is your lsvfr and your 686 callouts files so go back to the default page and now we're going to open up our gta 5 modded directory so to do that those guys in epic games and rockstar games your gta 5 main directory and how to get to it is down in the description below but for those guys on steam i'm going to show you guys how to get to that right now to do that go to whatever drive your steam games are installed on I can't really tell you what that is, it's kind of preference. It's usually your C or your D drive. The Steam library, the Steam maps, and then common. Find your GTA 5 modded folder. So this is mine right here. And then all you guys want to do is grab this plugins folder and really simply drag and drop it into your GTA 5 directory, making sure you're not putting it into any folders by accident. Put it on the side here to make sure nothing is highlighted blue. Just like that, if you go into plugins and go into LSVFR, you should be able to see here the 686 callouts is now successfully installed into your guys' game. Now, if you open up the config or the .ini file here, you can configure the type of callouts you have. You can change the keys, your ending callout, your primary key is pretty self-explanatory. And as you guys can see here, he has provided a link, which is very, very useful to the accepted values for all of your key bindings. So you can change it if you want. This is a really, really good config because you can change what sort of callouts you get. So if you're doing a YouTube video, and you don't really want some non-PG friendly videos, you don't want to get demonetized or copyrighted or something like that, you can always change it in this config. And here you can change your pursuit and customize them a bit and just make the callout different to everyone else and cater it to how you guys want it. It's a really, really good callout. I definitely recommend installing it. And I hope you guys find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below what video you guys want to see next. If you haven't already and you are looking to start a 5M server, check out the channel sponsor, Zap Posting, and use code Highway Trooper. No capitals or spaces for 20% off any of these app hosting products. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.